Good afternoon, everybody. We just got back from our walk. It is a gorgeous day today in Virginia. It's like 55 degrees, so we weren't wearing gloves. It was quite nice. Now we're gonna get ready to have some lunch really fast. And my mental to-do list today are, I finished addressing all the Christmas cards this morning. So I'd love to like stuff them, put the stamps on them, get them ready to go in the mail tomorrow. I also want to zone clean, organize Paul's nursery. That's the five, 10 minute organizing cleaning that's not part of your usual usual routine that I'd like to do. I have more presents to wrap for Matt, who is at work right now, and Paul from his grandparents to wrap those. And I wanna make Christmas cookies. That's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna to get to all of it. We're also doing leftovers, so I don't have to worry about dinner. But I'm thinking I'm gonna make cookies. So it's only December, it's December 11th. So I'm trying to think of cookies that I can just bake off a couple and then, actually no, I'm gonna bake all of them and I'm gonna freeze them. So they can't be things that are like, have icing or anything that's gonna bleed when they come out of the freezer. So I found a recipe in the Betty Crocker cookbook for mocha chocolate cookies. Cause I wanted to make chocolate cookies because I have these mint, <laughs> these peppermint candy, these peppermint sprinkles that I want to use up. And I thought they'd be good in a chocolate cookie. And this one is mocha, so there's coffee in it, which sounded pretty interesting. And it doesn't make a lot of them, which is what I like for Christmas. Cause I like a lot of different cookies. I don't like an insane amount of just one cookie. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna try to make those today. I'm gonna make the dough right now during lunchtime. We'll have our nap and then I will probably bake them during dinner time because I'll have the oven on anyway for leftovers. So that is the plan. We'll see how much I get done.
dinner nothing exciting just a bunch of leftovers so my refrigerator is cleared out which means I have to make dinner tomorrow the cookies baked up really nice they're actually really good I liked them a lot Matt doesn't really like sprinkles or peppermint so they weren't one of his favorites but I left out about six wrapped the rest in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer one of my favorite parts about that recipe is it only made about 24 cookies which is perfect because I like to have around Christmas a bunch of cookies but not necessarily a bunch of one type of cookie so I like that so the recipe said two dozen so now I've got like the cookie bug and I'm gonna keep going so I think for tomorrow I'm going to try to make and these all these cookies I'm getting from my Betty Crocker cookbook so tomorrow I think I'm gonna try to make the peanut butter cookies but it says it makes two dozen okay so I'm just gonna make that one and I'm gonna try to do the peanut butter blossom ones where you put the Hershey kiss in them the only thing that's gonna be fun is I'm gonna to try to use PB powder, which is like a powdered peanut butter, instead of using actual peanut butter. And we shall see how that goes. Also tomorrow's Saturday, so Matt is home, obviously, so he wants to try to make Instant Pot poached eggs again. So tomorrow we're gonna to try again. So I'm gonna make biscuits, he can have his poached eggs, I'm gonna have scrambled eggs, but that's what we're gonna have for breakfast. But there's some other recipes in here that I thought looked really good, like ginger snaps, brown sugar refrigerated cookies, those Russian tea cookies, the ones that are covered in powdered sugar, I love those. Shortbread, sugar cookies, spritz cookies. That is all I'm doing tonight. We are getting ready to put Paul down to sleep and I'm gonna edit this video and then just hang out. So I hope everybody has a good night and we'll see you tomorrow, bye.